The facilities have seen so many changes here, so many changes. I, I remember when um, there was a, a kind of big staff room for all the staff. I think there's a kind of small room for the staff now, but there, there was this enormous staff room. So when there was a break between lessons, you'd go down there and, uh, you know, there'd be a trolley brought in by a woman and you, she would sell you cups of tea and everybody would exchange stories about students, what they'd taught and that kind of thing. It was a very much more, um, uh, it seemed to me, laid back uh, and relaxed sort of atmosphere. I do remember going into the staff room for the first time, which was a huge room. Everybody used to meet there and it was blue with smoke. Um, and the ladies from the canteen would be there at break time because we had fairly set break times then. And they would be selling us hot sausage rolls, toast, cups of tea, cups of coffee. So we were very pampered in a way compared to nowadays, which is much more democratised in so much as we all go and queue up with the canteen all together in one long line. There's no separation of anything because at that time as well, the staff used to have a little segregated part in the dining hall. The dining hall hasn't changed very much from what it is now. When I first arrived, the reception was at the far end of a very long, thin, narrow corridor and it used to get very congested and it seemed to be out of the way. Um, and the staff room was also on the ground floor. Um, so I remember it just being a bit of a labyrinth. That's probably the best way of saying it. Well, I suppose for the time, because we're going back 30 years, um, they were quite different from how they are now because we obviously didn't have any of the whiteboards or any of the technology. In fact, we didn't even have the white um, roller boards. Uh, it was all chalk in those days. I do remember uh, having to wash my hair every day because uh, your hair was always full of chalk. Your clothes were always dusty from chalk. Um, so we don't have that anymore. I've kept a few pieces of chalk just as a reminder of what it used to be. Teaching resources, resources to help teachers have changed significantly. I mean, when I, I started again, I was using the bander machine, creating one master and then rolling it through the bander to get 20 handouts. Um, and that limited you to what you could actually produce because you, you tended to handwrite these bander masters, whereas now you can word process everything and it's easier for you to save it on a disc and then print out more or adapt it to a different situation, whereas you'd have to rewrite a whole, you know, master. I remember the facilities when I was a student. Um, I was absolutely uh, amazed. There was a, a super library that you could use. You could take out large numbers of books. There were newspaper clippings and uh, there used to be the old microfiche system that you, you'd sort of scroll down to find out what you needed to, to, to find from the, um, the library. Uh, whereas at school it was always just the old fashioned card index or just go to the shelf and find what you needed. Yeah, I mean, they were very good facilities. For me, I mean, I'd come from a school, remember, that didn't have anything like those facilities. The new St Peter's School hadn't been built, so it was very much an old building in the town centre. So we had, um, it's strange to think of it now, you know, state-of-the-art facilities, you know, as you would have in, in the mid-1960s. So there was a good canteen. Um, as I said, there was very good sports facilities, and um, I remember there being a very good library. Uh, the classrooms were uh, well, well appointed as well, as far as I could see. You know, obviously not with uh, you know this kind of IT equipment we have today, but yeah, it was new, clean, bright. The classrooms were quite bright, old-fashioned desks that you lifted up, but that was the way it was. Not like today with computers. Gosh, I didn't even know what a computer was in those days. But gradually the computers became, came in as well and that was an added moving on in technology. Whenever technology was available, the college had it. The resources department was really good. Um, things like OHPs, overhead projectors, which students, I don't think a lot of them even, even seen them these days. They, they, they were what you could call iconic as well as the building. Um, and it was a new way of teaching. 
instead of just bored and chalk. Mm -hmm.